Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, finally the Resli is here and this is the build guide video for the Resli. Resli is super super good. You don't need to be have you need to have like a signature weapon or a particular or artifact device. set or a particular constellation yeah. like many Anything are saying else? that he's uh, so luxury. Yeah, I don't seriously. think New or Resli both are not luxury characters. You can build totally F2P and your F2P builds gonna be very very good on both both characters so in this video we are only gonna talk about the Risley so let's get started I guess if you're watching this video you already love your Risley you wanna build your Risley and you already know about the gameplay everything is based on attack percentage first to keep in mind something related is gonna happen with the HP increasing or decreasing but nothing is gonna scale on the HP percentage so nothing is scaling on the HP percentage but everything's gonna scale on attack percentage and the elemental damage nothing's gonna scale on the hp percentage keep that in mind crit rate crit damage energy recharge elemental mastery attack percentage these are the um, strats that you are looking for first of all first of all straight up to the weapon what's what weapon you can give to your Risley? i have separated created a two videos which in which video like i talked about top five five star weapons and top five four star weapon if you want to go in detail about the weapons you can go check that video but in this video i just thoroughly you know just tell you about the weapons the best weapons the best five star weapons for this uh, resli is gonna be the signature weapon of resli uh, which is this weapon the cash flow supervision this is gonna be the best best weapon but beside that you can give one more weapon that's also gonna be good this uh, scaramouche weapon to let to the remembrance that's gonna be very very good and beside that the lost prayer is gonna be very good the lost prayer to the sacred winds it's the standard in-game standard five star weapon that weapon is gonna be also very good. If you have the new blade weapons, new blade weapons is also also very good on Rio Thessaly. You can use this weapon no problem. And other weapon is the Skyward Atlas. Skyward Atlas also very good. It gives lots of tons of tons of uh, attack percentage with normal attack having a chances to deal extra damage and also gives elemental damage bonus by 15%. This weapon is also very good. In Forster weapon, there's the new event weapon in the game the ballad of the boundless blue this is this weapon is very very good for rio tesli other weapons are the font fountain craftable weapon and the with it the with it is also very good okay so best f2 weapon is gonna be the uh, fountains craft forgeable catalyst so i'll suggest you guys if you want to build your f2p rio tesli which is very very good so just give him the Fontaine's forgeable catalyst. It's free. You can get it by very easily. Just go to the blacksmith, talk to her, and give her some material. They she'll give it. She'll give you the blueprint of the catalyst. Then you can forge there. No issue. No problem. No grinding. Okay, these are the weapons for the Rio Tesli. In if you want to go in depth, you can go and watch the separate videos for both uh, five star weapons and the four star weapons for Rio Tesli on my channel. Now let's talk about the artifact sets. The artifact sets, guys. It's crazy that you don't have to that grind that level like you don't need to give your real Tesla a four piece but if you give your real Tesla a four piece you don't have to worry about the crit rate I'll show you why there's a two artifact sets in the game was first is the blizzard and second is the this one the hunter one so what first is the blizzard and second is the hunter one you have to choose from them you can give both uh, artifacts like like you can give blizzard four piece you can give the hunter four piece no problem both gives crit rate in the four piece and both give some kind of damage bonus in two piece like blizzard give uh, two uh, crowd damage bonus 15 percent in two piece and hunter gives normal and charge like damage by 15 percent increase in two piece both gives Crit rate in four piece crit uh, ju for blizzard just give you 40 percent crit rate if you use frozen team with your character if you don't use frozen team you just go for the melt team you will get only 20 percent crit rate then here if you like having something hp increasing or decreasing this will give you around 32 percent uh 34 percent sorry 34 percent crit rate so 
either of these artifacts are very good then you don't have to worry about the crit rate guys like you are getting 32 34% crit rate or 40% crit rate that way is just very very good so just keep in mind you have to focus on the crit rate crit damage attack percentage energy recharge a little bit and elemental mastery uh, you can forget about the energy recharge uh, because the ultimate cost is not that high so the four four substrate that you need to focus on the first is crit rate then crit damage and attack percentage and fourth is the elemental mastery because we're gonna deal a lots of lots of melt damage with rio Tesli. okay so in flower we are giving the hp feather attack percentage in sand we are giving the attack percentage in goblet we are giving the cryo damage bonus and in circlet we are giving either critted or the crit damage according to your weapon according to your uh, you know build so these are the information about the you know artifact set just don't go for any other artifact like if you someone suggests you go for the wanderer nope the shiminawa is also not good the uh, gladiator is not good especially uh, if you planning to go for the shiminawa guys shiminawa is not good i'm telling you shiminawa is clearly not good artifact for uh, if, you know resley just go for the blizzard one or the hunter one now let's talk about the constellation the c1 constellation is very very good if you are able and if you can get the constellation the c1 constellation is literally very good it just increases your uh, uh, damages to the next level the whole working of your resli just got change if you you know have your uh, c1 c1 just changed many things about the resli build also and in terms of the gameplay in terms of the damages and c1 is actually very good if we talk about the c2 c2 is also good but not that good if you compare with the c1 so you can get your resli to the c3 if you want to go for the constellation because c3 constellations are very 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 good uh, but if you want to go for perfect constellation and only one constellation or two constellation i just uh, uh, you know just go for the c1 constellation that's it for the talents guys just triple crown your uh, resli guys what are you doing triple crown your resli first max your normal talents then max your elemental skill then max your elemental burst I don't know what pattern have to follow or draw what's the right pattern because both of three are very very good like big big damage comes in the elemental burst big big damage comes in elemental skill and yes normal attack is related to the elemental skill you choose you need to you know just upgrade the normal attacks also it's just very very good guys okay it's just very very good triple crown your uh, Risley. that's it okay guys this is the information about the weapon the artifact set the constellation and the talents now let's just quickly talk about the teams okay we're gonna talk about the both mono cryo teams and the melt teams so let's just start with the mono cryo teams first or you want to start with the melt team let's start with the melt team because it's the best the current team i'm using it's on the screen it's the best screen like it's, it's the best 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 team what we having here we having toma here we having bandit here we having kazua here why are we having these three characters we having toma here for two reasons actually three reasons but let's talk about two of them first first of all toma is a shielder and really kind of need a shield because he's gonna deal lots of lots of punches in the on the field and the character who deals in the punches the normal attacks uh, that character needs a proper shield thomas shield is not that good but it's uh, I mean, like, it's quite like fits with the resley so first reason we are using thoma is the of course shield and second is the pyro application Th thomas pyro application is very very good and third reason we are using uh, thoma is for the c6 constellation if you're having a c6 constellation on your thoma guys just read that constellation when a blazing barrier is obtained or refreshed the damage dealt by all party members normal charge and plunging attack is increased by 15 percent for six seconds so our guy that is really gonna get the normal and charge attack damage buffed for by 15 percent for six seconds 
every time the blazing barrier is obtained or refreshed so this is gonna be very very good so this is the three reason we are using the uh thoma for the resli i don't recommend you using the shangling here but if you uh if you don't have thoma yes you can use shangling here so for the for the melt team for the pyro application the thoma is going to be the first pref preference but if you like don't have thoma you can no problem you can clearly go for shangling here shangling is as good as thoma but yeah a little different because razli kit is little different next is the kazua no need of explanation why is kazua here kazua here to give you the more elemental damage bonus and second reason for the crowd con crowd control because just kazua just collect everyone's in one position then Wesley can boom boom then then punch them and kill them the last is the bennett no need sorry the introduction wise bennett is here bennett is here for the attack buff and for the heal because Risley healing is not that good if you compare to nublet nublet healing is way way good like uh, nublet can heal himself from 0 to 100 but Resley healing is not that good so you need you're gonna need a healer not a proper healer but uh, some kind of a healer so bandit is gonna be very perfect toma and bandit combined will trigger pyro resonance which gives extra 25 percent attack which is also very good so this is gonna be very very good team for melt Resley. okay now we're gonna talk about the mono cryo team uh, mono cryo team which only have the cryo characters we quickly replace thoma with the diona we quickly replace <laughs> bannet with the i will do as you command shenai kazwa remains the same so here we having the resli with diona and shenai why diona for only one reason the shield because resli needs a shield and shenai is here to give a cryo character a lots of lots of buff and kazua is here to give again elemental damage bonus so this is gonna be a cryo mono cryo team yes you can replace diona with layla here you can replace diona with layla here you yes you can too, replace right? layla with zhongli here you can do that and yes you can replace zhongli with yujin here What the? Okay, so this is gonna be a mono cryo team. Uh, one more team, yeah, you can try. You can try a geo cryo team, which is also got getting into a trend. I don't know why people are just moaning for the team, but yeah, you can use that user team where you can use. Uh, where the where the where the where the fuck is Zhongli? Yeah, you can use oh, Zhongli, oh, Yunjin, nice. and Shane. This is also a one of the team, not the best, but yes, it's our team now let's talk about the frozen team frozen team one of my favorite team what we gonna do we gonna do we gonna add we gonna add some character here where our mona here it is as the stars foretold mona is here guys okay you can use this team again Rizli, wrongly mona shenhe you can replace your jongli if you like uh, you don't your own don't want the shield here so you can add another hydro character here answers. or you can add any hydro character like you can also add uh to here you can add uh, shinkyu here wow. if you want shinkyu heals a bit that's guardian. also gonna help uh you can add yelen here or you can add a uh animal character here which is gonna be venti or the kazua or you can add the Layla hair or the Diona hair for the shield. So this is gonna you be your too, right? frozen team. But for personally, I just like the melt team because having a Thoma, Kazua, and Bandit is just gonna be way way good. Bandit gonna heal and buffs a loss of gives like 15 to 16 per, uh, 1600 attack bonus and just Thoma is gonna give the shield, the pyro <laughs> application the and extra 15% normal attack damage bonus. It's just perfect. Okay, guys. So that's it for the video. I hope you like the video. I try to, you know, 
cover everything related to uh, Risley. If I still missed something or forget something, you can tell me in the comment. And just guys, just let me know what do you think about the Risley. I just I think like Risley is a very good character. He's just giving I once 40 considered to 50 keeping some pets in my office, but normal soon gave attack up on the idea. and 100-100k yeah, right charge attack and his ultimate is also very good. Sun. So let me know what you think about the Risley's damage and performance in the Genshin Impact. We'll meet in the next video, guys. Till then, bye bye. Take care and subscribe. Kar do. Jane se pehle yar. Chalo, bye bye, guys.